Okay, I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time, but I felt like it would be easier to do this in the shop, not sitting in front of my trophy or plaque wall. So I'm gonna do a little discussion on the different types of paint that I've used over the years and what I like best and what, and the reason I won't use this anymore. So, here goes. We're also going to talk a little bit about this. And I'll discuss some other stuff. Paint similar to this level at your local paint store also. So let's get into this first. This is a polyester base coat. It's mixed two to one. The coverage is very good. I painted Jace's red SS with it. You can see those in the other videos coming up. But overall, I'm real happy for the cost in the, of this and the quality at your local paint store. It's pretty good stuff. I've also used, years ago, used Lemco base. Had good luck with it. Had good luck with Metal Lux. Metal Lux was a really good base. And the guy who owns this, uh, Southern Polyurethanes, he actually recommended Metal Lux also. But Metalux is a good base, good price, but it's all getting higher and higher and higher. So you want to use the best stuff you can use. And the mom and pop paint companies, which is what I'm about to discuss here, here, and this company here, are your best, in my opinion, best price, best quality. And just because you pay $1,000 for your gallon of paint, take that brag somewhere else. We don't care. <laughs> There's nothing, flat, no flex about paying too much for your paint. So again, local paint store, uh, Imperium, good stuff. Uh, sprayed a little of their clear, uh, stick to the mom and pop, but like if you just need something quick, good paint here again, Metal Lux, Lemco. I also use Nason in the past. Some of my older videos, you may see me using Nason. Won't use Nason anymore. Nason's base coat is not that great. It's really thin. It does not cover all that well. I painted a very, very nice car with that base coat, blue 72 Monte Carlo. Put about four or five, six coats of base. Turned out great. Uh, had another little car I sprayed one time, and it was a, luckily it was a little small car right after that, and I didn't get it quite covered. So just be aware of that with Nason. Nason also is not good about matching or any of that stuff. But we're on the restoration world, so we're going to talk about that. So... Also, I recommend Bulldog. Uh, there's a lot of different adhesion promoters, but this is just pretty much what I use. Paint your interior parts or whatever. Uh, that's a really good brand there. So, Revolt, Tamco, that, and then this. So first I'm gonna talk about EPX uh, commercial epoxy from PPG. Good, good price on this stuff. I get a really good price on this stuff from my local parts store. You can use this on bare metal. You can use it as a sealer. Overall, this is my favorite epoxy. It stuff will dry. If you've got a cold day, you've just sandblasted the car in the wintertime, and it's about 45 degrees, roll with this stuff. It'll dry. Let it eat. It will dry, and you can get the primer on the car. A lot of this other epoxy from SPI, Tamco or Revolt is got it just it needs warmer temperatures so and it needs an induction time. This stuff here, mix it and roll. Great stuff. They also make it in different colors. There's gray, and then here's the uh, activator EPX901. So I don't go through materials a whole lot because I do restoration. So you'll see a lot of stuff sitting around. Currently on the blocks, my '59 Chevy, and it's going to be. SPI black. I love this black base coat. It needs to go over a 600 grit. Your Revolt and your Tamco needs to go over 320. It's a lot thicker. This here is a little more watery. Uh, Barry or Gary, whatever his name is from SPI, recommends a 600, so that's what we're going to do. One to one. Uh, Tamco's base is one to one. Orion's base was one to one. Revolt's base is one to one. Now, SPI, I've used all their stuff in the past. Uh, recommend really any of it, but there's better primers out there. 
these companies have better 2Ks in my opinion, and the Orion base coat, like you see here, is basically the same, but not the same, it's changed, and actually improved with Revolt, so I'm looking forward to try it. This stuff has like a built-in guide coat, so Tammy's new line from Revolt, highly recommend that. I just sprayed the clear last night on my 59 Chevy parts. Uh, you'll see that in the uh, other video I'm going to upload, and it was a very good result. Again, all these clears are high quality. They're all good. I just, Tammy has helped a lot of people out with customers. She's got great customer service, and that's why I continue to follow her wherever she goes. Her family company, her mom and dad, owns Tamco. There is absolutely nothing wrong with Tamco paint. It is extremely high quality. It is a mom and pop owned company and is it, it is very reasonably priced. But Tamco, good quality stuff. All right, so she left here and went in with a person that I won't mention names and started this company and was promised what I was told this is coming from me. There is no, I want to say, there is no, uh, you know, this is just my opinion. This is what I was told was promised ownership of this company. Well, things got very toxic. The person she was working with was not very, uh, you know, good, was all about corporate, was all about, you know, money increases and all that stuff. It did not work out. There is a lawsuit in place right now. So that's why do not support this company. Big guy, big people trying to come after little people, not good. And then the court system wants to bend over and let them do it, and that ain't right. So, again, if you have Orion stuff, use it up. There's nothing wrong with it. It's good stuff, very good stuff. I'm still using it. Still got stuff to use, and I'm going to use it up. But then Tammy went out and started Revolt. Everything here is just as good or better. In my opinion, I've already used the clear. I think it's improved over this. So now you've kind of got an understanding of these companies. If you're following Tammy, then you would know about Tamco, you would know about this, O name, and you would know about Revolt. There's nothing wrong with any of them. Unfortunately, we've got idiots running this company. We've got good people running these. Again, this is Tammy's family. They kind of had a little bit of a thing, but I think they've kissed and made up, you know, Things happen. Family businesses are hard when you're working with family every day, uh, especially with siblings. You mix all that in. A lot of times it's like pouring gas on a fire. But anyway, this is kind of just a description of the materials and products that I use. Again, epoxy, I like this. I've also used uh, this epoxy. I still have some to use up. And in the warm weather, it's fine. But overall, this is my favorite epoxy. And this is commercial. It's uh, it's cheaper than the uh, body shop epoxy they sell. So look this stuff up. Good stuff. High build. We're going to be using Revolt. Clear, Revolt. Most of my base code is going to be Revolt. I'm still going to use SPI Black. I love SPI Black. If you need a standard color, their base coats is about the best price, but they only sell like seven colors, black, white, and about three shades of red and hugger orange. All the popular classic car muscle car colors. They may have added some colors. I don't know. But SPI, good stuff. Love their black base. Painted several cars with that. Again, Tamco, nothing wrong with it. Their, their high bill primer was great also. Uh, do not like, really, I, I started not to like their high build SPI because if you tried to gob it on, it would shrink on you. I had it like across a trunk jam and that stuff like stretched and was like sitting there like sponging. And I had never noticed that with any of the rest. So. so anyway, hopefully this helps. But if you're confused about what happened with with Tammy and Orion and Revolt, basically, again, this turned into a toxic situation. You know, I've seen both sides of it. Uh, I know who helps me and who gives me customer service, and it's this. You know, 
and then knowing what this is trying to do, it just, no. So, again, uncalled for. You know, cannot stand that, you know, just because, and basically there's a lawsuit because she went out on her own and then they didn't like it. And the court systems, that ain't right. So, anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. But, again, if anyone from this situation comes across this video, this is my opinion only. I was not influenced to say any of this. This is my opinion, just mine. From outside looking in, that's, and this is who I'm choosing. Again, Tammy is the customer service. She is the one who provides the customer service, not the other whoever was owning this company. So, again, really looking forward to getting on this. But hopefully, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. That's pretty much what I use now. I still use, I'm going to be using mostly this, but, and again, high quality stuff here. I mean, there's nothing wrong with all the name brand stuff. You know, this is PPG, but this is their commercial. And like, I get like a super good deal on this. This is like less than $150 a kit at my local paint store. So you can't beat that. You know, these base coats are going to be like $600 a gallon. So, like, you know, mom and pop paint is what DuPont and Exalta used to be 10 years ago on price. They're a thousand, twelve hundred bucks now. So, anyway, hopefully that helps. As far as body fillers, I like this. That's some of the, my favorite, and then I use that for Everglass. And then if some of the other spray stuff, let's see, we got, you know, just generic stuff, but I like this two-in-one primer. If you got a spot you need to cover right before you're painting or a little small something you need to prime, it's a, it's a 2K primer, so you're good on that. Spray base over it. Done it many times. And then here's the glazing putty. Here's a Tamco base. Painting my Vista Cruiser. Uh, and then put the pearl white on top of that and then I painted the white on the roof of the Impala. So Again still got stuff, you know, I don't use a lot of material because I do restoration. I don't just don't go through it. So anyway 13 minutes in if you got restoration inquiries put uh, I have my email in the video description as always uh, thanks to everyone who's uh, reached out and work people I've done work for or had the chance to do work for over the years.